broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Welcome, everyone. Um, my name is Dave Wills, and I am the Director of Library Partnerships for Tutor.com. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. We're just going to do a quick walkthrough um, of your new electronic resource for Tutor.com. And so, let's go ahead and we're going to dive right in. And so, if you go to the South Carolina Discus website and you scroll down to the, the bottom of the landing page, you'll see where Tutor.com has been added as a resource. If you click Tutor.com, um, you'll be taken to this screen if you are outside of the state. I actually currently reside in New Orleans, Louisiana. And so, any of your patrons that maybe um, have you know, um, going outside of the state due to the COVID-19 situation. Um, they'll be prompted here to enter the Discus username and password. And so um, if any of your students um, need to access this, they can um, call the Discus office to get the username and password, which is right here, 803-545-0201. Or they can email the Discus office at discusoffice at statelibrary.southcarolina.gov. And so I'm going to go ahead and just log in here so you can see this. So once we get into the landing page, the landing page, um, you'll see here the first thing that your uh, students will be able to do is connect with a tutor. Um, one thing I want to point out here, you'll see at the top here that submit a paper for review, drop off math question, take a practice quiz area, and other tool section is grayed out. In order to unlock these features, um, your students will need to create a free um, tutor.com account. And in order to do that, it's a very simple process. You just go up here to create an account. It's going to ask you for a few different um, few points. So it's going to ask you for a name, a valid email address. Um, it's going to ask your students to create a password, confirm the password, and um, put in their date of birth. And the reason we ask for the date of birth is to make sure that we are COPA compliant um, for those students that are under the age of 13. So once you have filled in that information and you go in and you sign to the platform, you'll notice now um, that all of the features have been unlocked. And so we'll just go ahead and dive in to the Get a Tutor Now button. And so your students will be able to access um, the platform in terms of our live tutoring hours from the hours of 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and one thing you'll see here um, that is throughout the whole um, demo here is that everything is very uh, user-friendly and easy to navigate. It's not overly complicated. And so once we're in here, um, we have over 60 different subject areas and test prep areas that will be available to all of your students. And so we have, you know, kind of starting off with your core subject areas of math, science, social studies, uh, English, then kind of getting into uh, your world languages and then into your test prep. So that's prepping for the SAT, ACT, um, AP exams and things of that nature. Um, one thing to let you guys know is that um, all of our test prep is powered by the Princeton Review. Um, that is our sister company. We actually, Tutor.com purchased the Princeton Review back in 2014. So you are getting, you know, all the 36 years of prepping for the standardized test included in um, the program. And so in regards to kind of, you know, filling in the cue points, you select your topic, you select your um, subject area, you can select your grade being from kindergarten all the way up to 12th. And then you can actually type in a question. Um, you know, I need help with addition. And then if you want to select um, this box right here, it'll provide um, our voice chat capabilities, which will be in our classroom. And so if you if students choose this box, we will provide a toll-free number that your students can dial in um, to connect with the tutoring session, or you can also connect with uh, your computer's audio. And also down here at the bottom, you'll see you can attach a file. Um, so you can upload any worksheet that maybe the teacher sent out. Um, and then once you hit the Connect Now button, 
you'll then in a matter of seconds be taken into our HTML5 classroom. The great thing about our um, entire platform is that all of your students can access it as long as they have a connection to an internet. So they can link up um, through the South Carolina Discus uh, website um, via you know either Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, um, from any Android device, from any um, iPhone device, and also too, the technology has been designed to um, adjust to the screen that you're viewing from. So if you're viewing from a Chrome booklet or an iPad, the whole platform will adjust to that screen size. The same goes with a, you know, a laptop or desktop computer. So once we're in the classroom, um, you'll see here that at the top right-hand corner, there is a X that says in session. So once your students are in the session, everything is recorded and stored under my sessions tab. If your um, students had chosen to create a free account, um, they had chosen to do voice chat, we would have provided that toll free number or you could have linked up with your computer's audio. And so um, they have the capability of having a voice conversation during the tutoring session. Also too, down here at the bottom right, we do have kind of a G chat back and forth with your tutor. Um, Again, this is a demo account, so there's not anyone on the other end of this. Um, but we do provide all of the detailed transcripts of the tutoring session at the end of the each session. So for those um, students that have chosen to do a voice chat, we have a dictation service that will actually transcribe the voice call into a transcript, and then it'll show up under the My Sessions tab, which I'll show you guys here in just a second, um, that your students can refer back to. They can also refer back to an email the entire session if need be, or they can actually print out the transcripts and also the interactive whiteboards. Um, our interactive whiteboard technology is pretty awesome. Anything I draw on here, um, the tutor is seeing in real time. We've added a lot of different um, features to enhance the classroom. So, you know, make this into graphing paper. We can add in different formulas here. Um, we can add in different um, shapes, whatever is needed to get through a tutoring session. Um, to let you guys know, uh, there is no time limit on a tutoring session. Uh, our tutoring sessions will, you know, and our tutors will guide the tutoring session um, to happen in a, you know, in a timely manner. Um, none of our tutoring sessions go on for hours and hours on end. And just to give you an idea, the average um, tutoring session uh, last year within um, kind of the library or public library market was about 20 minutes. So on average, you probably your students will connect to a, um, a live tutor, which is one-to-one -one, um, for about 20 minutes. We've also added some additional features up here at the top. We've added a graphing calculator to work on those higher level math and science courses. That's, um, you can work simultaneously with your tutor. We've also have a code editor up here, which works for kind of uh, those advanced um, maybe computer science courses. So we have the different uh, scripts and languages up here in the right hand corner, Java, JavaScript, SQL. And then we also have finally a text editor which works like um, a kind of Google Docs where you can copy and paste and work simultaneously with your tutor on um, those essays or documents that um, you need to write in Word. Also, we have a feature here to where maybe you have forgotten to upload the worksheet or upload the problem in the prior um, field screens. Um, you can also share a file during a tutoring session. And then we also have the capability of um, our tutors can do web sharing. So say if you're working on a chemistry problem and you need to pull up a periodic table, um, our tutor can pull that up and share his or her screen uh, with your students. Going back to our landing page here, um, the next thing we have up is our drop-off review for um, essays. And so your students will have the option of submitting a paper and we will review it. Um, one of our English tutors will review, and within a 12-hour period of time, we will provide the feedback, um, which I'll show you here in just a second. But just like connecting with a tutor now, you go in, you select you know, the grade level, you can type in the topic of the paper, where are you in terms of the writing process, um, depending on what field you select, we'll ask you some additional questions. So you can come in here, we need some help with word choice. You can describe the assignment, and then you can also you know, attach or select the citation, and then finally attach the file. And once you hit submit, uh, 12 hour period of time, you'll receive this. It will be a summary feedback form. It will show your students the pre-session details. 
the original document, and then it will also show you uh, your students the review document to where uh, it will show where our English tutors have given their um, comments and feedback. And then we break the overall paper down in terms of uh, higher order writing concerns and feedback, lower order writing concerns and feedback, which is more on the lines of kind of your spelling and grammar. And then we do just provide an overall feedback to the paper. I'm going to the next item that you guys have with your program is our drop off math question. Um, here, your students will be able to drop off one problem within a 24 hour period of time. And just like with the other, um, it's been a paper and connecting with a tutor. If you come in, you fill out the fields to kind of, um, you know, queue up what your students are trying to get help with in terms of the problem. You can actually write out the problem or type in the problem. You can attach a file if it's like a, you know, a math worksheet. And then also too, we have the capability here of actually drawing out the math problem. So it is an interactive whiteboard that you can um, draw out the problem and hit submit. And within a 24 hour period of time, you'll receive our summary feedback form that'll look like this. It'll be a step-by-step -step solution to the math problem, as well as the interactive whiteboards that the tutor or the math tutor has used to facilitate um, going through the, um, the problem to provide the solution to your students. Um, the reason we limit it to just one math problem within a 24 hour period of time, um, we are here to um, help educate and we're not necessarily here to be an answering service. So we do put a limitation of just one problem within a 24 hour period of time. Um, going back to the top here, we have um, a very robust practice quiz area. This practice quiz area works like uh, you're in a chapter um, quizzes for your core subject areas of kind of math, science, and English. Um, we have also included the ASVAB, which um, for maybe those uh, students who are in the higher grades, you know, 12th, 11th, and 12th grade that are thinking about going into the military, it is um, full practice quizzes for every part of that military entrance exam. Um, just to kind of walk you through one of these practice quiz areas, or the ticket quiz, we'll go in and if your students connect during um, the time frame of 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. and they take a practice quiz. Um, we'll go ahead and finish this. We did so well we got a zero. Um, one thing you'll see up here for problem number one, we missed it obviously, but if it's within that 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. time frame, you can hit discuss with a tutor and then in turn it will populate the information into the fields to where you can connect with the tutor at that point in time. Um, going back up to the top of our program here. We, under our other tools section, we have uh, the Princeton Review and full SAT ACT Essentials program. Um, this is a full start to finish course in preparing for these two tests. And so uh, your students can go in and this is another great feature of uh, for when your students create an account, they can access um, um, a lot of the information in terms of the score reporting and things of that nature that we provide back to the students. Just to kind of go into the platform here, let me just go up here. Once we're in here, um, go ahead and look at the SAT side of things. Your students will be able to select um, you know, their target test date, um, and also they can put in their target score. And we do have a pretty successful success rate of this program. About 96% of the people that go through the um, SAT, ACT essential programs achieve that target test score. Um, next up we have our kind of practice test area um, to where your uh, students will have um, a bunch of different practice tests, um, study, you know, self-guided, timed, um, all different types. And then I just want to jump in into one of these score reports because what's um, a really nice feature of this with, uh, you know, the 36 years of experience of preparing for these tests, we've been able to write an algorithm that pinpoints each individual and how they actually take the test and it will show them their areas of strength as well as their areas of focus. Um, and so if this particular individual studies and focuses on these three things here, they will um, get closer to achieving that target verbal score that they had set out to um, achieve in the beginning. Then we break down the test um, from start to finish, every aspect. Um, we break it down in terms of uh, 
two to three minute videos that are very really, you know, snackable and easy to digest, followed by a skill drill or a practice quiz. So just to kind of show you one of these real quick. Um, Let's get the idea. Um, they're interactive whiteboards, so the tutors in the videos um, will be able to write on the screen. So it's a really, um, the content is really good and, and well done. The next up, after your students, you know, take the SAT, SAT or ACT, and they want to go on to the next step of applying to college, we provided a very robust uh, resource center to where your students can come in and um, access, you know, all of our resources for getting into college. So, you know, how to write that perfect application and essay, you know, how to do financial aid, how to pick the right school and things of that nature. Um, going back up to the top here, we, under the other tools section, we do have um, some additional video content that your uh, students can access. And these are just, again, short two to three minute videos that we have provided in addition um, to actual connecting with a live tutor um, and one thing to point out too um, is that your students if they connect um, they'll be able to connect to these resources um, outside of connecting with a tutor now so the submit a paper for review drop off math the quiz area and everything under the other tool section 24 7. Um, the only time restri restriction is when your students are connecting with an actual live human being um, from the hours of 8 a.m to 10 p.m and so we have provided these short um, videos for AP Biology, Calculus, U.S. History, and World History. And then the last thing we've provided under our other tools section is our Early Edge videos. These are additional um, short two to three minute videos that are um, preparing your students and getting additional help in your basic math and language art skills. Um, just to kind of show you one of these, just like you know the videos within the SAT, ACT, program. Um, they're all done in-house and they're short and interactive whiteboards as well. Um, going back to our home screen here, I want to kind of go back to the landing page here and so one thing i want to show you guys now um, is kind of the benefits of creating uh, a free account with tutor.com so under the account settings you have my sessions um, tab and this is where any of the tutoring session that any of your students go th goes through will be stored here and so they can come back and refer to also too there's a section um, what's called our you know our favorite tutors and so at the end of each tutoring session, we do provide a five question summary feedback, um, which kind of helps us to collect data in terms of how our tutors are doing. Also in terms of it's a way um, for us to measure our quality control, because um, that's one thing we want to make sure that you guys know that we're always um, checking and referring um, and looking at all of our transcripts um, that take place to ensure that all of your students are getting the highest quality of tutoring that's available um, in the industry. And also too, you know, we have over 3,000 plus subject matter experts that are now at um, your, um, able to um, access. And then finally we have, um, so going back to that question, I'm sorry, you can select um, and give that, rate that tutor and give them a five star. If they have a five star, it'll show up under your favorite tutor tab to where you can actually link up with that particular tutor at another, another time and date of when they're on. And then the final thing we have is um, our locker room, which is right here. This is where any document that you may store um, or load up will be stored. Also, to any document that is loaded up via your tutor will be stored here as well. Also, anything that you submit for asynchronous review, so dropping off a paper, dropping off a math problem, will be um, stored as well. Going to your to kind of the home screen, I do want to show you guys if your paper, if your students scroll down um, obviously the first thing here is they can connect with a tutor but if they scroll down we've kind of broken out the entire platform to make it a little more accessible for um, to pinpoint what your student is coming to get help with and so with this we've broken down the entire program so just to kind of show you an example um, we'll just go ahead and select algebra 
And what this will do, it will then in turn populate the fields into um, the program here, and then you will be able to connect with the tutor. Um, going back to this home screen here, one thing I do want to point out, um, which I think is a really good um, resource and um, tool to show you guys, is we do have this button right here called Take the Tour. Um, so if you have any additional staff that you know, you'd like to you know, show tutor.com and how it works, or students, teachers, um, you can just you know guide them to this button right here, and it'll be a step by step of exactly every aspect of the program, kind of like what we just went over um, here in this short um, webinar. And so it's a good additional feature and tool. And then also too, if you actually you know run into um, going back here to our home screen, let me see here. You scroll to the bottom of your program, you'll notice here there will be a FAQ section. Um, the FAQ section is frequently asked questions. Um, if you do run into any problems with um, connection um, from you know any, any of your students trying to connect, um, nine times out of a ten it is a user um, error and not a program error. So we just kind of wanted to show this so that you could put your students to here to see if they have you know. Um, gone through these steps to you know ensure that they are actually being able to connect properly. If not, if there is something that you know comes up that um, you don't know how to fix or you don't know what to do, that's all right. We're going to be here. We have a very dedicated client support team that will be at your um, service. Um, so you would just connect. So since um, this is a statewide program, you would select that and then you would fill in the cue points and the problem and then we will get back to you within um, a 24 hour period of time um, usually within you know within an hour um, and with that I would actually like to open up the floor to any questions that is kind of everything for today's um, webinar we will be sending out an actual um, webinar link to where you'll be able to um, see the recording of the webinar as well as this link to download any and all of the digital marketing and then promotional materials that we have um, provided and made for the program. So this is where you can come. Um, this link will be included in that email. So you can come in here and download the zip file. And what we have done, we've put together a bunch of different um, kind of um, documents for you guys that includes kind of the, the South Carolina Discus um, URL and information. And some of those are, you know, connecting or how our top 10 facts for parents about tutor.com, you know, top 10 facts for educators and things of that nature. And so with that, I'd like to open up if anyone has any questions. Unmuted. Like right now we have any questions, but feel free to ask in the question box and we'll answer right away. All right. Well, we appreciate you guys joining us this morning. Um, if any questions do pop up, um, when you receive kind of the, the follow-up email, um, my contact information will be in there, and we will be here to um, help support you guys the best way we can. And I hope everyone stays safe and healthy. Thank you.